U.S. home building pulling back a little bit in January after a December boom that kicked new building permits up to a 13-year high. The January pullback was actually less than expected. So are we on a steady footing for housing heading into the election? Let's bring in Rogers Healy of Rogers Healy and Associates. Rogers, thank you for being here. So are Americans going to feel good about the housing market going into the election? No, sir. They're going to feel great. We got we got a lot of great news that continues to pop up. And just because it slowed down a little bit doesn't mean the demand is not there. We've got so much great things going on with our country, whether it's an election year or not. But the biggest driver for the next few years is going to be my buddies, the millennials. So, yeah, it, it's looking really, really good, especially for the next few years to come. Uh, do you think uh, with interest rates low and what rate, wages rising up that uh, we can get to two million starts? I'd like to we, think we, so. We, but once, the, once upon a time, we had that. Yeah, even, and, and even it's headed that way again. Bubble. Yeah, but I mean, it, it, again, it's just economics 101. So I don't think we're going to have a housing bubble. I think we're going to have a steady increase of demand. And, and, people and, how, always, do you, and how do you see the baby boomers? Uh, are they going to be wanting new houses, even if they're smaller than what they're selling? I don't think they're going to want new houses. I think what's going to happen, the forgotten generation is my generation. I'm 39 years old, so I'm right on the cusp of millennial and Gen X, but Gen X is starting to make real money. We've got millennials starting to go and actually purchase properties for the first time ever, and baby boomers are gonna probably start to downsize. We got five million millennials turning 30 this year alone, which is crazy, but we probably have a few million baby boomers retiring every single day, so it's an opportunity for people like me to get into a larger house for maybe a, a better price, but I think if, if baby boomers are gonna go and get a new house, it's probably gonna be a product we haven't seen before, and that's a single-story new construction home which is going to go and change the way the price for foot game has, has been played for you know, the last 20, 30 years. You know, I've been looking at uh, uh, buying a house in Florida where everybody wants to buy a house yeah. these days. And, you know, you say it's a good uh, housing market. It depends on whether you're the buyer or the seller. And, you know, for a buyer, I mean, you've got houses that are selling literally within a day of listing. You know, you can't bargain down prices, at least in, in some of these hot uh, areas. And so, right. you know, my question is, how long will this, you know, hot market last and are we going to see an increase in inventory of new <laughs> houses coming on because I, I got to tell you you know a lot of these houses we we're looking at in Florida in five years they've doubled in price yeah and, and again I, I think what's going to happen now we're not going to see what happened eight or nine ten years ago where the big short occurred and you know most people lost their why not why, why do you think that's not going to happen because the smart people are talking like you guys are every single day and they're actually listening and i think back in the day <laughs> well, that's good good answer <laughs> yeah and i think everybody and their mom wanted to be a home builder back you know in in the right. early to mid 2000s and now the qualifications are a little bit more difficult and they have people advising them the biggest thing that we're going to see i think as far as you know like just the great exodus is going to be with realtors Right now, we have realtors coming on the scene more than we ever have before. In my city alone in Dallas, Texas, we have over 60,000 realtors. When I got in the business 19 years ago, there was less than 10,000. So, right, Rogers, they're going to be yeah. a divide between uh, red states and blue states, high tax blue states That's versus uh, low tax red states. I, I, I think so. In one again, area, boom in another. Yeah, and to go back to the gentleman's uh, you know, point about Florida, people are going to continue to move to places with low or no state income taxes. Yeah. And I think places like California, there's a reason they're moving out, right? And it always used to be I want to be close to the ocean and, and close to Hollywood, but now I want to be able to have a lifestyle that I can afford. So, yeah, it, it's going to continue to change, and you're going to see places like Florida. You're going to see places like Texas. You're going to see places like Nevada continue to do this, where places like New York, Illinois, California, you're going to have probably a pretty relative mass exodus for the, mm. the few, next few coming years. So I think you're pretty optimistic about this industry over the next year or two. I, yeah. I would think, again, going back to Steve's comment, it seems to me you could get up to two million housing starts a year. I mean, we're looking at household formations for millennials really doing extremely well. That, right. that uh, generation was considered special and they weren't going to buy houses, but that seems to be changing, right? I mean, I, I would think this is a pretty good surge that's going to be ahead of us. Yeah, I agree, but I, I, you call them special, I call them entitled, and I think that what that... <laughs> they want their parents' home. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, I, I moved out of my house when I was 18, but I think there's almost 25% of millennials still living at home, and millennials go up to literally age 39, so I, I think there's a lot of fun <laughs> statistics to study, but 
What the millennials did, which we've never seen happen before, is for the last 10 or 15 years, they have driven the rental market. Yeah. And so we're going to see people that are going to go. These home builders are going to continue to build. And hopefully there's two million, you know, every year from here on out. But it's going to be in areas that normally people would not want to go and make their first choice. Yeah, that's and what I was going to ask you. It seems with millennials, you know, we're living in the world with them with this shared economy. <clears throat> and so the idea of being an, uh, a homeowner and an owner of right. car service, I mean, an, a car owner, it's changing dramatically. We're seeing that in the numbers. Right. So how do you think that will impact home sales? Uh, I think it's going to continue to do well. But, but again, everyone, already, and even today, we talk about baby boomers and millennials. But there's people between the ages of 30 and 55 that are starting to make three or $400,000 for the first time, which they're going to go and help keep yeah. the urban core alive and, and rocking. And I think that what's going to end up happening, if you see it, like the the permits have gone crazy, right? Like everyone wants to build, there's a shortage of labor, but land prices have also reached a point, like rental rates, to where they've both gotten so expensive that you either find a new place to build or you go retrofit a place you probably didn't want to buy in the first place. All so, right. it, they're, they're, we, wait, Rogers, we, we could talk for hours. We yes, love having you on. Please come back and see us again. You Rogers got it. Healy, good to see you. Mm -hmm. Well, Thank Bernie you guys. Sanders continuing to push for.